Hello, my name is Sandpile. In this video, I'm going to show off a technique originally posted by Olimos on Twitter. Olimos is a Valve employee, and he worked as an artist for Half-Life Alex. So, in this tweet by Olimos, he showed off the UVs in one of the corridors in Half-Life Alex. The UVs make it possible to have this interlocked plank pattern in the corner of a corridor. It could also be used to have interlocked planks going across the floor of a room. Alright, so how do you do it? First, we want to draw a quad. Click on the block tool and change the geometry type to quad. And let's change the grid size to 64. So let's draw out the quad that is 64 by 64 units and hit enter. Let's first add the wood plank material we want to use. Search for wood in the material browser. Let's use this interior wood floor 001 simple.vmat. And now it's time to figure out how many planks wide you want your corridor to be. So each plank is 4 units wide. And this quad is 64 by 64, which means it is 16 planks wide. However, if you want your final corridor to be 16 planks wide, you need to take something into consideration. In Olimos's tweet, one of his corners is beveled like this. And in your corridor, you can have up to two bevels, one on the inner corner and one on the outer corner. So for each of these bevels you want to have in your corridor, you need to add one plank to the width of your starting quad. So if you just want to have a bevel on the inner corner of your corridor, just like in Olimos's tweet, the width of your starting quad should be the desired corridor width plus 4. So in this case, 64 plus 4. The 4 comes from the width of the plank, so change your grid size to 4. Let's add 4 to both of the dimensions of your quad. Like so. So in the edge tool, hit this button to open your edge cut tool, or press C on your keyboard. So click on this vertex in this corner, and on this vertex in the opposite corner, hit enter. This is how the layout of your corridor is going to look like. So open your edge cut tool again. Make sure your grid size is still at 4 units. 4 units in from this line. Let's add a vertex. And add another vertex over here, so that this new line is perfectly perpendicular to a line going through the middle of the quad. Hit enter. Let's open the edge cut tool again and make a zigzag pattern between the two perpendicular lines. You should see that all of the lines perfectly match up with the plank texture. Open the edge cut tool again. Draw lines like this, back and forth between the vertices on the line and the vertex on the corner. It's almost like sewing with needle and thread. Hit enter. Do the same on the other side. Now, to make things more clear, let's select all of the faces on this side of the quad. Make sure your angle snap is at 90 degrees. Then hit this rotate button in the tool properties window. Now you can see more clearly which direction your corridor is supposed to move. Alright, now let's make that bevel on the inner corner of your corridor. Go to the edge tool, then open the edge cut tool. Cut across the corner like this. Hit enter. Now you can remove these two faces. Hit the delete button on your keyboard. Now let's take this edge and extrude it a little bit. About 16 units or so. Do the same with this other edge. Now let's select this vertex. Change the grid size to 1 and move this vertex in by 2 units. Move this vertex in 2 units as well. Now you can move this middle vertex 1 unit up and 1 unit to the side. This might look dumb to you, however there is one more thing to worry about. If we select all of these edges and extrude them up to make the walls, 
you can see that there's a less than desirable edge going up in this corner. This would be solved if we made a beveled edge in this corner as well. However, I want to recreate the original tweet by Ole Maas, in which the inner corner does not have a bevel. If we merge these two vertices, the interlocked planks effect is going to break. I believe that this might be how Ole Maas did it, and he simply hid the problem with a prop in the corner. Invisible. Let's go over a few other ways to solve this issue. You could have two edges going up the wall, and it will connect with a bevel on the other side. You could bevel this corner. This outer bevel is a little bit bigger than this inner bevel. You can also just stop the edge loop by connecting the vertices like this. All of these techniques would preserve the interlocked planks. And you can just do it like a professional level designer and hide your problems. Like this. Perfect. As a final note, if you're creative, you can use the same principle on other corridor layouts. Thank you for watching. You can download this map in the description below. Subscribe if you want more tutorials. Bye for now.